check, check, check. Okay, let's get this stream going. Hey everybody, it's Patrick again. Hope you're doing well on a Thursday night. As you can see, I've got a slightly, checking my camera out there to make sure I've got the whole thing. <laughs> As you can see, I've got a slightly different arrangement this time. Um, got some new hardware. Uh, I'm sitting in a new chair from Secret Labs. Uh, so I finally have a chair that's comfortable that I can sit in for periods of time and not uh, you know, kill my back or anything like that. Um, I'm looking up at a wider angle um, because I've got a brand new 4K TV here. wasn't planning on getting a 4K TV, but um, Best Buy had the TCL model uh, on sale for one day only on Mother's Day, and it was the lowest price ever. And so I have a 4K TV with HDR, um, you know, all the check, mark, check boxes on the, the Xbox One X there in terms of, you know, 4K compatibility. It was 500 bucks. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Um, anyway, so with that, uh, it's a larger TV than what I used to have, so my camera is now sitting up a little higher, so you're kind of looking down on me here. Um, but I've also got um, one of the challenges of doing this was um, my Xbox One X looks great on this new TV. It's 4K. It's fantastic. It's unbelievable. Um, however, if I were to stream using my Elgato, Elgato capture card, it only can take a 1080p signal as an input. So I'd have to dial down the quality of my Xbox in order to, to get it through the capture thing. And I was like, well, I don't want to do that. I, you know, I, to, I got a 4K machine here. I want to see 4K, damn it. <laughs> and so I uh, messed around with that and, and actually uh, fixed my, my stream setup up a little bit. And if you're on YouTube, I've, I posted a video on what I actually did including you know, diagrams on how everything hooks up. Uh, so check that out if you're interested. Um, but what I did was uh, I'm using something called OneCast. Since I have a Mac OS, you see my laptop right here, Mac OS, I'm running OneCast on that. It's a $20 little program that if you're on the same network as your Xbox, it will essentially grab the Xbox and let you stream it to your, to your Mac. And uh, if I did that, I was like, well, if I can stream it to my Mac and it shows up in a window or I can go full screen, well, if it shows up in a window, can I use it as a window source in OBS? And the answer is yes. So I set up OBS and I'm using OBS today. Uh, I used to use, um, um, what do I call it? Uh, uh, Game Capture HD, the Elgato software. Uh, but because I'm taking Elgato out of the equation right now, what you're looking at, or what you're going to be looking at as far as gameplay, is coming streaming off the uh, Xbox onto my Mac wirelessly. Uh, and uh, you know, here I'll give you a quick sample of it. Make sure my green screen's looking good. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, what you're looking at is city skylines and me keyed over it, and yeah, not not too shabby. So we're, we're going to give it a try. This is my first kind of getting into the stream a little bit, and we're going to you know get started and um, you know, kick the tires on this a little bit. There might be some bumps along the way, some bugs or some weirdness, but that's part of what we're trying to figure out here is I'm going to try to work the kinks out as we go, so to speak. So thank you for sticking around. Thanks for, for watching. And uh, let's play some City Skylines. I've never played this game before, uh, so I'm going to be learning how to play it as, as we go here. Um, 
and we'll just see how uh, how well we do. So I'm going to hit A, and let's get going here. My understanding is it's like a Sims game, or, you know, Sim City again. Hmm. Adjust the box to fit the display. Okay, it appears to be just fine. I'll check my noise levels. Can you hear the music there? You should be able to hear a little something. Uh, except... DLC is available to purchase. I've installed After Dark and Match Day. I don't want to buy anything. I have no idea what the hell I've done yet. Okay, so let's see. Map name. Cliffside Bay. Foggy Hills. Lagoon Shore. Grand River. Green Plains. River Run. Black Woods. No idea. Let's do... Let's do Cliffside Bay. And city name, Renberg. Why not? All right, this has natural resources. I think that's oil, rocks, grass, trees. It's got good water, outside connections. Base thing in your PS. Suitable area for building, 53%. No idea. Left-hand traffic. What does that mean? Drive on the left-hand side, I guess. Unlimited money. I like unlimited money. Achievements will be disabled. Ah, boo. All right. All right, let's go. Enable mods. So how's the picture look, by the way? Yeah, there it is, just streaming on my Mac, just good as good as gold there. Control trucks by setting a heavy traffic ban policy on areas you don't want them to go. Okay. It's a little Twitter bird. Hmm. I hope this game isn't too hard to pick up on. <laughs> Alright, let's start by building some roads and zoning the areas next to them. Buildings will spawn on the zoned areas, and you'll unlock new city services and buildings as your city grows. For help, smash down the right thumb key thing. It will provide you with information regarding the menu or view you have open or the item you've selected. You can view detailed information about your city at any time by holding Y to open the radio info menu and selecting an info... Oh, God. It's already confusing me. Okay. Oh, look at that. All right. All right. So this is just a, a look around at what we've got here. Okay, I guess these are my boundaries. And here's what we're going to start to do. Some roads, I guess. Now what do I do? Okay, down here I got in... I'm sitting on top of some of the user interface here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Inspector. Do I have a pointer? All right, here we go. Inspector allows you to view information about the things in your city. Move the inspector reticule over a building, person, or vehicle, and press A to bring up its info window. In the info window, you can perform certain actions, such as changing a name, turning a building on and off, depending on the object selected. <clears throat> okay. And toggle district mode. Use the inspector reticle to highlight a district. roads. Okay. Selecting a start and end point for the road. Okay. Start. Let's do a road that goes right here. Stop drawing a road. What's it doing? Uh, okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Oh, here we go. supposed to do. Uh, why? Zoom camera. Alright, let's zoom out. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I want to just start building a road boot here. Can I not do that? Uh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing. 
thing. <laughs> I don't know how to, all these other grayed out icons, I don't know how to light them up. Like, what do I, how do I, it does not give me clear instructions here. There we go. What did I do? I forget what I wish to get that. All right, roads provide zones for building and city services. Large roads allow faster travel, more traffic. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Use up and down to build elevated roads or tunnels. Draw a road over water to build a bridge. Da, 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 da. Okay. So let's do small roads. Or I can do, okay, four lane roads. Okay, I don't have unlimited money, so let's do small roads. And we'll start here. Let's zoom in. Distance too short. Space already occupied, out of city limits. Okay, here we go. Alright. Let's do this. Distance too short. Alright, we're gonna do a road that goes all the way around. Distance too short. I don't know what that means. too short. There we go. And connect it here. Okay. I'm done building roads. Well, maybe I'll do one right down the middle. is underway. I don't know what that means. Uh, select zoning and zone areas next to roads. Okay. to control. Okay, so there's my highway connection. Now can people start moving in? Distance too short. using the controller here trying to figure this out but
there's my my thing. Uh, I want to put some buildings up. How do I do that? Right, there we go. Zoning and districts. Okay. That will determine what kind of buildings there are. Three different tools for zoning: fill, marquee, and brush. Zone an area by pressing A. Residential zones provide housing for citizens. Commercial zones for shopping and leisure for children. Citizen tourists. Citizen zone for the K. District line. Uh, remove an area from your district. Okay. So let's see. So this is low density, high density, low density commercial, high density commercial. Industrial office and decent. Okay. So let's do low des density residential. I'm going to make the houses on the left side. that now what's the other kinds of so like a different information overlays to better understand how your city works oh, all right. now it won't let me change change up what I'm using select Zone industrial zone. Yeah, well, I notice that I can't seem to get to selecting it. There we go. High density residential, low density commercial, high density commercial, industrial. Okay, so let's do low density commercial and put it right here. So we have water and electric, right? Ah, here we go. 
Electricity. Power plants produce electricity. Okay. How do I put a power plant down? Power lines. You can see the reach of electricity around the buildings is a light blue area. Okay. Alright. So let's put a power plant down. Power line. Here we go. Wind turbine. A coal power plant. Okay. Let's put the coal power plant. Roadside. Okay. Space already occupied and not enough money. Maybe I'll get my TV working. Uh, okay. I love the smell of burning fossil fuel in the morning. Well, I'm sorry. Alright. Now that I've got a uh, thing, let's do a power line. I should have water now? Yes? Maybe. Okay, how come you guys don't have water? Or do you have sewage water? Uh, uh oh. I got folks needing electricity over here.
sewage. These guys are screwed over here. Yeah, they got they all need water and power, and I don't have either. And no money. I'm losing money. Minus 452. Oh boy. This is this is getting rough. How's the game looking though? If you're just joining, this is streaming. Uh -oh, I think all these guys have bad sewer water. How much you can zoom down in? Oh crap! There's people. All right, these people are gonna get real sick real fast. Uh, because I can't seem to afford. I'm losing money so fast here. Good God. Okay. Let's see. Um, we need to do something about. The if I'm out of money. <laughs> and I can't make money because yeah, none of this stuff's gonna work. I'm just going to die. <laughs> so what now? Um, what's that? I got trucks. Uh, so everybody's dying. They all have bad sewer water. Lovely day for a walk. What does it say? Pancakes House. International House of Pancakes. I love it. There's gas stations. Alright, so we got us a little main street going here. Here's my power plant. It's not, well, it's not providing power to that side of the city. Uh, this thing apparently needs power. Abandoned building in the city and it's spoiling the view. You can bulldoze it. Okay. Where's that? Where's the abandoned? Oh boy, these are all abandoned. Yep, these are all falling into disrepair. Uh, how do I build those? I guess I can't do any of this stuff. Uh, zoning. Okay, here's something. Okay. Inspector. Pressed. Window and the info window, you can see. Okay, so let's bring up this window. Abandoned. Uh, what can I do about it? How's the building doing? Uh, it's not doing well. Nobody's living there. Uh, can't level up. That's fine. Rename? No. Center? No. So, how do I get rid of it? window. Move the inspector over a building person and press A to bring up the info inspector, changing a name, turning a building on or off. Okay. Rename. No. How do I turn a building on or off? abandoned building. Oh crap, they're all falling apart. Alright, we gotta do something here. How do we... Um, uh, there we go. Now we can... Can I get money back for doing this?
this band in buildings. Okay, so they got good water. These guys have bad water. What are we doing here? We're building more shit. Stop building stuff, guys. Alright, they, they have bad water. Alright. Where's my water pumps? This needs electricity. Where's my electric? I'm sure the game's a lot more fun if I turn on the uh, unlimited wealth, because this is just too hard. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, that's a drain that I put together. That's just another pump. I figured it needs some help to get out to these things. Ah, oh, dang it, we gotta... stuff that's not working. Yeah. Stuff like that. Oh, this whole area over here is dead. tourist here, I'll tell you that. Uh, can't even call to email the electrical company when there's no power. Uh, city needs more water. More sewage than it can handle. Uh, okay, I'm not doing too well. Somebody's happy that I get rid of Stop building shit if you can't handle it. Uh. Let's get rid of the eyesores. enough. That's making money over there. What are you doing? Bailout. Bankruptcy. Cut services by shutting them down or raise taxes to gain more income. You can take a one out of... No, I don't want to bail out. Alright. Well, I am clearly not cut out for, uh, this mayor shit, huh? Where's my water tower with no power? I have no money to put power to it. Somehow they have clean, clean water. It'd be nice if you could start with sort of a semi-started city. You know what I mean? Like, give me some, something to work from here. What is that? Is that a... That's an ice cream shop. It's kind of cool. What's this thing? Go nuts, donuts. Alright, so donuts and ice cream. People should be getting fat and happy now. Um, okay, well. I think that's going to do it for me. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not entirely sure what else I'm supposed to do in this game. I am... Definitely not. With no money, I can't give any power to anybody. Why am I living in this depressing state? Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what I want to know. Um, jeez. <laughs> so that's, uh, yeah. So that's uh, City Skylines. <laughs> as you can tell, I am no good at it. Uh, um, so as far as uh, 
the graphics and everything. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, certainly seems like a fun game. Um, but uh, probably not my style of a game. I'm not that good at these city management type of games anyway, uh, especially when you... There is an option to play... Here, I'm going to... Tell it to be quiet there. Um, there's an option to play with uh, unlimited funds, but you don't get any um, uh, achievements for that, and that's no fun. You want to get achievements. But uh, running out of money is no fun at all. Um, so I'm glad they at least included that as a game mechanic so we can uh, try that out. I uh, hope you enjoyed the new setup. Again, this was kind of just a, a work the kinks out type of thing. So uh, I hope the, the gameplay was you know mediocre as usual. Um, but um, I hope that uh, if you like what you saw, smash that follow button. Come on back and join me. I try to stream uh, at around 8 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Um, and I try to play things that are a little bit off the beaten path. This game I hadn't played before. It's in the Games Pass um, collection of games for Xbox, and I thought, well, why not give it a try? Uh, and, uh, you know, see how the stream goes here. Um, so uh, if you liked uh, the new setup, uh, let me know. Check out my YouTube video. I explain in detail how I set it all up using uh, one, one guide or one cast or whatever it's called. Um, and, yeah, I will see you on the next stream. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll take... Take it away from here. See you later. Bye-bye.